What's up guys, since the new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet games released this week, I'm going to be taking a quick look at the new special edition OLED Switch. I haven't looked at an OLED Switch at all yet and didn't plan on getting one until this one was announced. I really like this design so I caved and picked one up. So let's take a look at this and hopefully this video will help you if you are on the fence about upgrading your Switch. Alright guys, here it is. Let's check it out. Well, let's pull the Joy-Cons out first. I like the presentation and the way they're shaping these boxes now. Slide that out. The main reason I really like this was, here it is, man, that looks good. I liked the sticker slap, like graffiti design. I know a lot of people really didn't like it, but man, look at that. That looks so clean. And the kickstand is usable. Oh, it's like, Move the box out of the way a little bit. Look at that kickstand design. Oh, it's turning on. Dang, that screen is huge. Holy, let's see, hold on, what else is in here? We'll come back to that. I gotta look at the dock. Ah, so, okay, a bunch of extra stuff. We'll set this aside for now. We just wanna look at the dock. So, let me get out of here. Oh, it's shiny. Didn't expect that. Whoa, it's like super glossy. Look at that, it is so glossy, my lights are reflecting in it. Hold on, let me move the box out of the way, we'll talk about this, this is really cool. Oh, look at that. Look at that, look at the gloss. Wow, that's so cool. And on the back, oh yeah, the little Pokeball right here. Man, they did a good job on this one. Oh, and that just completely pops off, that's good. I wanna talk about this ethernet port. Jeez Louise, did they drop the ball with the damn LAN port, I swear. Can you imagine back when Smash was hype? Then they released that lame special edition, I'll put it up on the screen, that lame special edition Smash Ultimate Switch. Didn't have any color. Can you imagine how many they would have sold if it would have came with a LAN port in the dock? Jeez, that was such an issue. And they didn't even come out with an official LAN port for like so long. I don't even know, do they even have one? I don't know, everyone was buying the Amazon ones, but geez, they dropped the ball on that. But this is really sick. That was one reason I wanted it. The artwork's pretty good. I don't know if you can see, some of the artwork's a little bit funky on the print. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to look, but it kind of looks... Let me zoom way in. Let's get deep. You see how it kind of looks almost... You can see the lines. Doesn't really bother me, but... Maybe that's just because of the lamination when they laminated it to make it glossy. I never really planned on getting a Switch OLED, to be honest. Uh, let's compare it to the regular Switch, which I haven't looked at these at all, but I thought that it was gonna be bigger physically, but it's literally the same, basically the same size as the Switch. It's just that they got rid of the bezels on the side. But the reason I actually was like, I might break down and actually get one of these if I can find one is because of the design. I love the sticker slap design. Let me show you guys my laptop. My laptop, very similar. Just a bunch of stickers slapped on. I know a lot of people really didn't like that design style, but I'm, I'm with it. A lot of the other special edition switches are so lame. I'll, I'll go ahead and say most of them. I like the Animal Crossing one, because, but I liked it because of what they did with the dock. The back of it, most of the switch designs, they're just all black. Like on the back, I just don't understand why it took them this long. What is it? It's 2017? Five years? 2017? 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, five years. Five years to come out with a switch that has a damn color printed special edition that's insane <laughs> that's so crazy so i'm hoping that i just hope that for the breath of the wild 2 they do a really lame special edition switch also because i want to be happy with this pickup and i am so far this thing is really nice let's go ahead and click these in here nice and i do have the game right here i caved and picked the game up too i wasn't gonna but you know i was like i bought the switch i feel like i have to the screen is insanely better looking. I know it's still only a 1280 by 720 screen. You can just tell right away just by looking at it. It's like loads better. It's like I'm playing a PS Vita. <laughs> the last special edition Switch I got was the Animal Crossing one. I really liked that one. That one had a cool dock. Not as cool as this dock though. Definitely be keeping this one. I was curious if the regular Switch is gonna fit in the dock for the... Okay, it does. At least they did that. How annoying would that have been? So the old switch does fit in the new dock. And that means the new switch should fit in the old dock as well. 
Let's see how well the stand works. I like that it has different levels and it's like, it doesn't click. It doesn't feel like I'm gonna break it in half like the other one. Why does it go all the way back like that? I guess that's kind of cool. That is such a useful, like that's usable now. Oh my gosh, this thing, this thing is just horrendous. Why was this ever designed? They should have just not even tried. It's so awful. This one's legit though. This is how it always should have been for sure. Let's see if I can actually pull these off without. Yeah, nice. This is sweet. I should have done this first because I'm spitting and I'm getting fingerprints all over the place. Let's go ahead and apply this screen protector. All right. There we go. That looks good. This thing is very convenient. They should all come with this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this little unboxing video. Let me know if you like this new special edition Scarlet and Violet Switch. And if you don't, let me know what your favorite special edition Switch is. I don't think there's very many good ones, but uh, this one I think is definitely the best one that they've ever come out with. And it's really, you know, it's a pretty cool design. I, I think they can do a lot better with designs, but I, I definitely like this one. And I'm glad that we're finally seeing some color added to the special editions on the Nintendo Switches. That is such a sad sentence to have to say. Anyways, you guys take it easy. Leave your boy a like if you like this video. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So in my opinion, is it worth it to upgrade to a new OLED Switch if you already have a Switch? Well, if you play in handheld mode a lot, the OLED is a really nice display. Personally, I really like it just from my first glances at it, but that's a decision you're gonna have to make yourself. I will say though, if you don't already own a Switch and you're thinking about picking one up, for an extra 50 bucks over the old Switch, I think it's a no-brainer. There's definitely $50 worth of value there. I think you should definitely go for the newer Switch if you don't have one already.